Well, my name is Dr. Joe Pizzorno. I'm a naturopathic doctor, and I've been studying medicine for literally over half a century. So I started as doing medical research, then became a naturopathic doctor, and then became a practitioner and author and founder of Bass University, uh, one of the people who helped found uh, functional medicine. And now I'm the editor-in-chief of a journal called Integrated Medicine, a clinician's journal. And let's see, I've written seven books for consumers, written or co-authored seven books for consumers, and six textbooks for doctors. So the GPL Tox pro profile is it's a much broader uh, screen. So not get, only getting mycotoxins, but getting other toxins as well. The sad reality is that we are ex uh, exposed to a huge numbers of chemicals. And um, when you look at the, must say, health status of the average person, we now suffer the highest burden of chronic disease in every age group ever. And it's because of this huge burden of toxins we're being exposed to. So um, I, I will say to every healthcare professional that assessing people for toxic exposure, metals, chemicals, mycotoxins as such, should be part of primary care. Everybody should check for it. We shouldn't wait for people to not respond properly to conventional therapies before we start thinking about toxins. I'm one of these people who believes that history and physical examination will get about 80% of your diagnoses. So a good doctor will do their diagnosis primarily in the clinic. Now, having said that, you need to confirm the diagnosis, which is why I use laboratory testing for, or if I have somebody who is, has multiple problems and I can't figure out a clear problem, now I'm gonna start doing pretty extensive, uh, extensive testing. So in general, when people come to see me, if they have the personal resources, I do a nutritional assessment, I do a toxic assess assessment, and I check their genetics to see if they got susceptibility to toxins. Because some people are much more susceptible to toxins than other people. And it turns out, you look at the genetics, you can figure out who's being more sensitive. So I would do the GPL tox first. Now, if I suspect mold toxicity, then I'll do the additional uh, comprehensive testing with molds. It, it, again, it depends upon the patient. I will tell people, the body has tremendous ability to heal if we just give it a chance. And so what makes naturopathic medicine such an effective uh, way of thinking about patients is that we look to remove the barriers to healing. We think the body, natural state is to be healthy. And we have all these mechanisms to maintain that health. And if the health is not there, something's blocking our mechanisms for, for that. And what blocks our mechanisms for being healthy? Environmental toxins, mycotoxins, nutritional deficiencies. So with most patients, complex patients, I just go through, get the nutrition up, get the toxins out, see if there's any genetic susceptibility to pay attention to. Most people, that takes care of it. Now, now, it doesn't mean it's easy, okay, because you gotta work your way through it, but the body wants to be healthy, so let's help it. So one of the challenges is there's over 150 molecules being reported on. That's gonna be intimidating to anybody, including me, okay? Much by chemistry as I know, I can't look at 170 molecules and say, oh, I know exactly what each of them do. So I recommend that people start by looking at a few of those molecules in the urine and get good at those. Because it turns out that there's a handful of them that are really predictive of metabolic dysfunction. And so if you can identify those and figure out why it's happening, uh, it can be very useful. So yes, lots of data can be very useful. We get good at a few of them. And as you find as you start getting these kind of major ones fi figured out, then the other is going to be easy, either easier to figure out or they may, by, by fixing the big problem, maybe I'll take care of the smaller problems all by itself. So I start with GPL talks. Okay, that'll give you lots of good ideas. But sometimes you have to get even more detail. Okay, but I start with the GPL talks.